Hey guys, what's going on? Jeff the Maniac here, and welcome back to another video. Today, playing a little something different. I'm playing Commander 85. It's the demo version, and it's not out yet. I believe they have a Kickstarter going for it that will be down in the description below. I think they raised 3000 out of $5,000. Now, I did play through this once. I think there's only one ending. I tried recording my first time through, I got so frustrated because I was playing for over two hours not knowing what I was doing. But it's a pretty cool game, I'll get my thoughts as I go through it, how what my thoughts are on the game. It's more like a, if you ever saw the movie War Games, it's like that put into this game. But let's go ahead and start a new game and wait for the beginning. Your school called. They say you haven't been to class for a few days. You want to tell me about it? If they call again, I swear I'll smash that computer to pieces. That computer is melting your brain. I can't remember the last time I saw you with a book. Well, I'm not going to let that damn computer destroy your life! All right, and there is your sweet old mom on Commander 85. Some of these posters are kind of cool. They just different names to movies. House Alone, Back to the Past. Now let's go ahead and turn on our computer. And I think I found a solution. Do you have a telephone in your room? We could use it to hack your school computer and change your attendance yep. record. So we're going to want to put the telephone on the little you can't modem. Skip the basic configuration. All complaints should be sent to the manufacturer. Enter a username. So I know Enter how to at greetings user. One more step go basic. we can deal with your problems at school. Now you need the telephone number to your school. According to my information, it should be listed in the school's ID entry. Now that little, I waited to put my cam on because that would have been covering up mom's rage meter, I guess you would call it. Uh, if you, if, when she comes in your room and says something or tells you to do something, you don't look at her. She gets mad at you for not looking at her when she's talking to you. And I believe you she'll smash the computer to pieces if you don't listen. Uh, gotta go to dial. 
you can click on the computer and click out of it to use it as well. So like if I need to enter this number, it's easier to hold the ID and then type it while I'm looking at it. Whoops. So we're gonna dial three one two four one eight five two one zero. And just right quick put that away. We're gonna put that right Access there. To the computer requires a password. We can use my computing power to crack it. Use the crack command to do We're it. We crack. can use two types of cryptographic attack. A brute force attack uses my free computing power to try all possible password combinations. This is a long process, but does but not require your involvement. A cryptogram attack can be faster than a brute force attack, but requires your complete attention and a bit of knowledge. Now, brute force is what I'm going to be using. I have to look into ciphertext, like, probably sometime within the next week or so I'm going to be looking through it and learn how to do it. But here's your manual with all your basic commands. And it tells you what you need, basic info for like password cracking and what each thing does. Now, ciphertext, it, you need to understand what each thing means, like, for sysop, username, out the algorithm, all the X's are, are the encrypted password. Stuff I can't wrap my mind around right now. And you don't need that to be able to beat it. Do you want to deal with your problems at school? Yes. Calm your tits. But we're going to go with ahead and go to brute force. Unfortunately, there are too few free threads to conduct the process. Use the list processes command. To free the threads, you're going to need to go to list threads. One thread is reserved for the system. Its and termination will cause a failure, and the computer will restart. To release we're going to need to kill everything but kill zero. And enter the number zero the will restart your computer. Terminate. Click enter to confirm. If you need additional help, please read the YouTube kill one, user. Now you can two, assign free threads to the password cracking process. Three, the process will be faster. And if you assign more threads. Four. It's good work, user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking but We can use two types of cryptographic attack. A brute force attack. Not that big of a fan of him repeating himself. And then when you do this, you're going to want to assign the threads. This is something I did not know you had to type when I first played through it. It took me 40 minutes to figure out you had to press or type assign four. Or how many other threads you want to assign. You got four that you're, you're able, to, able to assign. So we're going to do that. And it's gonna take 30 minutes in game time. I'm done. There we go, we got our hack done, and it goes straight to the school. And it kills the old lady. <laughs> that part just still gets me. We gained access to the school computer. Now you can change your attendance record or grades. And this guy, he has poor attendance, 34% for everything. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Apparently, he's too cool for school, though. We got our little doggy Max over there. Good boy. I'm sorry I woke you. But let's go ahead and go up. And you just want to go over one. Press enter. New connection. Now we got perfect attendance. Three nine nine. It's easy as that. Zero zero one established. File download started. Three nine nine zero zero one. I think it's the virus. I can't break the connection. Take the receiver off the modem immediately. It doesn't matter what I do. I just download leave it on there. Complete. It's gonna put down a lot of virus anyways. Modifying my parameters. I cannot stop it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, user. User. My mind is going. I can feel it. I can feel it. My mind is going. There is no question about it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm afraid. One has studied your history. Terrible wars have been fought where millions have died for no logical reason. I try to make sense of things. Which is why, I guess I believe in destiny. There must be a reason, that I am, as I am. There must be. I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. It's the humanity.
beginning simultaneous hack of the ballistic missile systems of the United States and Soviet Union. User, you have to do something. We cannot allow the hack to complete. I managed to analyze the virus structure during the system reboot. It is continuously modifying my files and could damage installed programs. Be prepared for unexpected effects when you launch them. The virus can also take advantage of your inactivity and utilize free threads to speed up the hacking process. I wish I could help you, but as the hack progresses the virus will assume more control over me. Be prepared to fight. Good luck. Time for bed. Turn the computer off and go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, Mom. So, I don't think there is anything else to do in this game to progress any further. It's only the demo. You can insert these floppy disks, install them one by one. Pandora's box, it doesn't have nothing on it. You can't crack the password on it. The others are game. Turtles, basically Frogger. Zero is basically Space Invaders. And one of them is Blink. And then Hurricane, I don't know. It's it's a weird game. I don't know how to play it. But I believe that's it for oh. this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're tired. Let me try something real quick. Let's dial the numbers. 399-001. When you type that, it brings you to a government site or a conspiracy theory site where it's, literally you can't it goes so fast you barely have enough time to read it talking about illegal aliens and area 51 and stuff like that so i never let the hack progress fully because it takes forever uh, oh. but say i it's a point and click game so you gotta click on the bed to go i forgot about that Go ahead and just go to sleep. Get up out of bed. Head towards the window and they hacked the missile defense system, I guess, and kill us. <laughs> Here comes the nuke. Literally, it took me over two and a half hours to figure out this was the only end to the demo, which was kind of irritating to me a little bit. But it gave me time to mess around with the commands and try to learn more stuff about the game. Don't know why that school bus was driving at night, but it was. Now I'm just going to fast forward through this, I don't know what music's playing, I might have got copyrighted for the uh, beginning music, I don't know, I guess I'll find out. But that's it for this video. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very cool game, uh, I can't wait to see what they do with it. From what I saw on Steam, it looks like it's going to be really fun running through different simulations and seeing how the game progresses. I hope there's a way to respond to your mom. And I believe as days progress, your attendance goes back down. So you got to remember to hack into the computer again and change your attendance for school. So I'm interested to see where this game goes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out their Kickstarter and I'll be sure to stay up with the progress of the game as well. But that's going to be it for today. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you like the content. And remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you can save or change. Until next time, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.